Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, you guys and I have been waiting. Actually, I have not been waiting. <laughs> I love watching these kind of videos. We're going to rank all the eyeshadow palettes that we tried for this year. That is 2023. We are stepping our way into 2024 and I wanted to rank everything that we have used. And we have used 56 new palettes. That's quite a bit I know. Some of them were sent to me in PR and some of them I bought it myself. Some of them are really, really bad. Some of them are really good. I would say the ratio is 95 to 5. 95% <laughs> of these palettes are really good. I have been very good with like palette purchases. Uh, and some of them are really, really, really amazing. It took me a long time to rank these palettes and i'll tell you from what point onwards the palettes are really good and and from what point onwards palettes are great uh, so without further ado if you want to get your anxiety high along with me to rank all these eyeshadow palettes then please keep on watching if you're curious about what is the eye makeup that i have on my eyes it's one of the top five palettes that i'm going to rank today i'll get to it when i get to those palettes so on number 56 we have this is Aromaz Okanbe palette. This was when I got the palette from Timu. And this is a dupe for Huda Beauty's new nude palette. Now, is this workable? It is. But I felt like there was no deep tones in this. It's very, very girly and one tone. I never would use these like glitter shades uh, that are included in this palette. So for that reason... It just blended away for nothing. And for that reason, this is going to be on the bottom of the list. The next uh, palette, I do not have it with me. I gave it to my sister. And that was also, uh, do you remember the Colourpop Whatever palette? It was the dupe of that from another brand from Temu. If I can find that video, I'll link it in the iCards above. When I tried everything from Timo, I've definitely shown it in that video too. So I would rank that on number 55, but I did not try that at all. But it seemed like those tones definitely went more deep and warm tone. And she wanted a warm tone palette, so I gave that to her. Okay, on 54, I have this Viseart palette. I know, Viseart on 54, yes. I'm not ranking this based on the quality of the eyeshadow palette. I'm totally ranking this based on the color story and how basic it is. Uh, again, if you like this for travel, if you like these tones, you would absolutely love it. But this did not knock my socks off. For that reason, I'm ranking this on 54. I know, I know I'm going to upset a few people, but bear with me. <laughs> Okay, next, on number 53, we have Ladybug Glow Castle of Horror Palette. Again, oh my God, it was such a difficult job for me to rank all these palettes. Now, this, I ranked it in quite a bottom list just because this palette definitely doesn't have any lighter tones or like mid tones. It goes very, very deep, uh, especially in the matte shadows. These are the only mid tone shades, but even on the eyes, you can apply it like a one and done eyeshadow, but if you uh, pair this with another uh, matte, it's going to end up like being very, very deep. Even the shimmers in the palette go very deep. Uh, this is the only shimmer that is lighter in tone, so it would go more on the silvery side whenever you apply that shadow. But again, this silver is not that light tone. It's definitely more of a mid tone. So this doesn't give me much variety. And and that's why this is on number 53. On number 52, I have Alter Ego's Midsummer Palette. Now this palette, if you are lighter than me, you would absolutely love it. For my skin tone, I felt like I loved this shade. Absolutely loved this shade. But the other mattes in the palette are definitely more on the lighter side for me. It definitely doesn't go any, any deeper until unless I put a shimmer. And you'll see this when I reviewed this palette that I was not over the moon excited about this palette. But again, this festival shade, absolutely amazing. Amazing. So this is where it fell really sorry but this is where it fell so on number 52 on number 51 we have wicked widow beauty's tea time palette amazing palette amazing palette it's only that i do not dip into these color stories quite often but the shadows perform absolutely beautifully if you uh, have this palette definitely go in like duos do not apply more shade than that if you go in duos it'll be amazing like if you go this and this, this and this, this and this, this and this, it'll be amazing. If you 
mismatch the palette the color story can be a little confusing because it is all over the place for me and but the shimmers are so beautiful i was going back and forth on these palettes so very much i cannot even tell you like i love this shade and i love this shade like i cannot tell you how much i love that shade this yellow is beautiful okay on number 51 okay on number 50 we have the krampus eve palette now this palette fell on number 50 uh, one because it's a matte heavy palette and it's difficult for me to mismatch these shades to mix these shades it will muddy up and I felt like these two shades were not like it it's a little repetitive here uh, similarly this and this it's not giving me as much of variety as I need this Rainbow Multichrome was a good addition in this palette, but I also felt like these shades, like the deeper tones, were um, blending away when I applied it on my eyes. And that's the only reason why I'm putting this on number 50. There are way more Ladybug Glow palettes in this palette ranking, which will be high up there. On number 49, we have uh, Gourmand Girl's Secret Grove palette. Now, this palette ranked a little low uh, because I felt like there were repetitive green shades and there were too many pinky uh, leaning shades. They were very similar shades to each other and the, there were only two shimmers in this palette. So I felt like if you are a matte heavy person, uh, this will work really well. I mean, you, if you love the color story, it will really, really work for you. Um, but I personally am not a big green person. And for me, if I'm not, if I'm taking away the green, then the center shade, most of the center shade is gone. And then I'm left with like orangey reds and pinks. Uh, pinks and reds together, I really, really love. But again, it's restricting myself in a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. That's why it's ranking a little low. On number 48, we have Galaxia Magica palette. And this was uh, from Lady Baglo. Um, I really like this palette. I really like this palette. Again, my qualm with this would be the palette doesn't go too deep. The deepest shade in the palette is this one. And this also, uh, when blended it out with the other shades, the other shades are too bright for this kind of a deeper tone. If this was a black, I mean, it would have gone much, much more deeper. But also, I know Lady Baglo has a lot of deeper tones in the other palette. So you can definitely mess and match. But standalone palette, if I see this, I love Lady Baglo shimmers. This is one of my favorite shades. This was stunning. Like, it's good. It's not perfect. That is why this is our number 48. On number 47, we have a palette from It's Well Cosmetics and this is their Fruity Realm Matte Palette. This is an amazing neon uh, palette full of matte shades. This definitely falls as a companion palette for me. And this cannot be like a standalone palette for me just because this is full of mattes and it is punchy uh, shades. I In my everyday life, I would not go for like neon shades, but this would be a great companion palette because the quality of this palette is amazing. But again... These shades, not Smithy's time. <laughs> so that is why this would be on number 47. On number 46, we have another Ladybug Glow palette. Actually, the first Ladybug Glow palette that they ever launched. The mattes is definitely much, much more colorful for me. But I love their multichromes that were included in this palette. I absolutely dip into this palette for like four or five shades. I love this black these two multichromes are amazing. Love this red and this minty shade. Rest of them, I feel like it's a little outside my comfort zone. And again, it doesn't go along with the other shades that are included in this palette. You can definitely take one of the bright shades and the black to deepen out the outer corners and one of the uh, shimmer shades out of the three. And that would be amazing. But if you start mixing and matching these shades, it's ten it will tend to uh, go a little more muddy on your eyes just because these all of these uh, matte shades are like pretty much one tone uh, as compared to varying depths in the palette. And that's why this is on number 46. On number 45, we have Sugar Rizzle's Mojito palette. Now, I like this palette. I really, really like this palette. From this palette onwards, palettes are going to be good, okay? I, it was very, very difficult for me. Now, we are only basing this ranking based on the color story. And if you know me, you know I'm not very, very into green shadows. I, I don't feel comfortable much in like green eyeshadows. Uh, and this is a green palette. But talking about it, if 
you like greens you would absolutely love it because this has the depth the variety that you're looking for i feel like the ratio of mattes versus shimmers are absolutely amazing and the multi-chromes and the duochromes that were included in this palette were stunning the quality a plus plus if you like these shades you'll absolutely love it i have a video on all these palettes on my channel so you will definitely find like inspiration if you do have the palette but this is gonna rank on number 45 on number 44 we have simply posh cosmetics fairy tales fairies palette i know a lot of people love this palette for me i feel like the pastel tones were definitely much much more lighter on me i feel like all these shades look very very similar on my skin tone just because i am more of like a neutral uh, tan skin tone these shades are super super light on me i definitely would go from like darker to lighter tones just because to get more depth in the eyeshadow again i'm not a big green person and this is definitely a green heavy palette uh, so that is why this is ranking on the lowest. Simply Posh Cosmetics, I absolutely love, love their stuff. So you will see their palettes up in the ranking too, but this definitely is on lower on the list. On number 43, we have Alter Ego's Coastal Palette. Now this was the dupe for Huda Beauty's Rose Quartz Palette. I actually tried Huda Beauty's Rose Quartz Palette also this year. So when I'm comparing these two palettes, this is very, very comparable, but I just love Huda Beauty's Rose Quartz palettes a lot more. So you'll see that up in the higher ranking in this video. But again, if you are in a budget and if you cannot afford that $65, $69 palette, then this is a great, great, great palette. This is not bad by any means. This goes with the depth. It goes really, really well. I feel like only the, the sh if you go more deep into like shimmer shades, that is when I feel like Huda Beauty shimmers are more impactful on the eyes and it lasts for a longer time on the eyes as compared to the Alter Ego shimmers. And that's the only reason why I'm ranking this a little low. But I can definitely see myself getting rid of this um, in future just because I have the the original one on number 42 we have the ladybug glow everyday sparkles palette this is an eight pan eyeshadow palette i absolutely love the shimmer shades in this palette but i feel like there can be a little bit more improvement in their matte shades i feel like if the mattes can be more of like a thicker quality matte and that is more buildable and blendable i feel like ladybug glows shimmers excel excel in their quality like whenever i see these palettes from ladybug glow I feel like I'm always dipping into their shimmers because the shimmer quality is excellent like one of the top shimmer qualities that I have in the collection but I feel like the rank in the ranking it falls a little below just because of the mattes because I feel like the mattes can be improved a little bit more but again have I used this palette a lot like I've used this palette for their shimmer shades a lot uh, i love the shade umber and bellow really really love it this patina shade is such a beautiful multi-chrome it's very very unique shades too i know it's ranking a little low but trust me on the shimmers ladybug glow does amazing shimmers the next palette is also from ladybug glow and this is their fond lily palette and this falls on number 41 and this was their spring release now this one uh, is on 41 just because I feel like on the eyes this shade this shade this shade have the similar depth but none of these shades go super super deep again you can see the way I'm ranking these uh, shadows and it is falling low just based on the mattes but if you ask me this shimmer this shimmer this shimmer and this shimmer one among my favorite shimmers that they have done like this is stunning it's so smooth so spectacular so dimensional like they are some of the most amazing shimmers that they they have done like so beautiful so beautiful they are stunning absolutely stunning oh my god look at my fingers i don't want to swatch a lot of these uh, shadows just because again 56 shadows is quite a bit to swatch 
but they are just very very amazing on the shimmers i definitely want them to uh, focus a little bit more on the matte side on number 40 we have another palette from sugar drizzle and this is the plumeria dragon palette sugar drizzle definitely felt a little short in the later half of the year they had a lot of releases in the first half of the year and i am an affiliate of uh, sugar drizzle but i think they have stopped some of the coupon codes right now I know that they had like some issues going on. That's why they took off the affiliate codes. Uh, but I still love Sugar Drizzle formulas a lot. This is falling on number 40 uh, based on the color story because it's more of like a, like a pink purple leaning palette. And uh, this doesn't have a lot of multi-chromes, but it is an amazing shimmer and a matte quality. The looks that I get from this palette is absolutely amazing. And you know how much I love my purples. So this is right up my alley. I really, really, really love this palette. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing quality. I love this, but again, the variety that you can achieve this, uh, from this palette is definitely a little bit more restricted and that is why this is falling on number 40. On number 39, we have Gourmand Girls Warriors Wear Pink palette. I love the mattes in this palette a lot, a lot. It, this palette only has three shimmers, but the tones of the matte is what makes me put this higher on the list. I love these tones of matte and I feel like it's super, super unique. I love to pair this and this together. So beautiful. This tone of brown is amazing. This multi-chrome is stunning. Absolutely stunning. There are so many tones that is unique in this palette. And I feel like they absolutely knocked it out of the ballpark with this palette i really really love this but i do love the gourmand girls and doodles by the bunny palettes a little bit more uh, that is why those palettes would rank higher up in the ranking but this will fall on number 39 on number 38 we have another ladybug glow palette and this is the murky waters palette this is a beautiful palette beautiful palette if you love blues and greens stunning absolutely stunning i feel like they did something with this palette the quality of the mats the shimmers everything is absolutely stunning this i feel like is a complete eight pan palette like these two uh mats can go together blues and browns go together really really well and these shimmers are stunningly beautiful i cannot say anything wrong about this palette like this palette was absolutely stunning from them so this definitely is higher up in the ranking based on the quality of the eyeshadows so again this on number 38 on number 37 we have another ladybug glow palette and this is the krampus continued palette i love the color story how unique this color story is and that is why this is ranking on number 37 just because i feel like i do not have a blue or a murky like green like this in my collection these shimmers are absolutely stunning i feel like this is my favorite shimmer from lady buglo that they've ever done it's is it neutral yes is it multi-chromy yes it's like an elevated shimmer and this on the eyes looks so wet looking so wet looking and this has the brightness that we always look for but it's elevated it's so very good i really 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 like this palette that would have gone so well with this top two that i'm wearing today okay on number 36 we have wicked Vera beauty's graveyard smash palette for an eight pan eyeshadow palette this is stunning i felt like this color story is absolutely beautiful i loved everything about this palette for an eight pan eyeshadow palette i feel like they absolutely knocked it out of the ballpark i love the addition of this purple if because of this purple i feel like the palette is more complete this purple can go with any of the other mattes in this palette would i have loved one more deeper matte shade yes absolutely but i also feel like they did a very 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 good job with this color story the only thing that again i would say is pair like one uh, lighter matte shade with this dark shade and one of the shimmers do not muddy up the shimmers by uh, putting two or three shimmers together uh, i feel like these shimmers needs to stand by itself and they are good enough to stand by itself i really really love the artwork as well as the color story in this and that is why this is ranking on number 36 next on number 35 we have simply posh cosmetics citrus crunch palette this is such a beautiful palette if you like colors and summery tones this should be right up your alley this is so fun 
so fun i actually went traveling with this palette i actually customized this palette with some deeper tones too but these punchy matte shades and these shimmers are so so beautiful these uh, shimmers uh, are definitely a little bit more hardly pressed in the pan so i do have like a hard panning going on on this shade as well as this shade and a little bit on this shade but i love this shade i i would highly highly recommend like if you want to use simply posh cosmetic shimmers and you want it impactful on your eyes use like a toothier brush and then apply it on your eyes it will look so stunning rather than applying it with your fingers i really 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 love the quality of simply posh cosmetics shadow this definitely is much much more colorful for me uh, and that is why this is ranking up in the midway for me again this is on number 35 on number 34 we have another simply posh cosmetics palette and this is the berry icy palette this completely surprised me i love majority of the shades in the palette like these nine pan uh, eyeshadow section is stunning these um, uh, shimmers are absolutely beautiful again i feel like this 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 pretty repetitive this and this repetitive this and this repetitive so i feel like there are re repeating shades in this palette especially in this side of the section on my eyes it looks very similar now that can also be on my tan skin tone it looks a little similar but i still love to wear these lighter tones on my inner corners and then uh, use these shimmers on the eyelid this is a stunning palette absolutely stunning palette i've used this a lot a lot this year i love these tones i really love these tones especially gravitating towards these tones but i also have used this site a lot oh, the only complaint would be uh, just to avoid a few repetitive shades in this palette but otherwise this palette is amazing on number 33 this is the first time me trying this brand and this is mba cosmetics this is the pumpkin kisses and autumn wishes palette beautiful palette like i loved the way this performed on the eyes and the eye look turned out to be so beautiful so beautiful i felt like these shimmers are a little bit more on the thicker side so if you like a thicker shadow you will absolutely love it the mattes beautiful quality i loved the mattes in this palette this palette was absolutely amazing i cannot wait to try more from mba cosmetics i do have like some liquid shadows from them and also some uh, single shadows from them that i'll be featuring uh, in january so stay tuned for that but this was absolutely amazing not many complaints i'm okay with them not putting so many multi chromes in the palette and make so that the palette is more on the affordable side i do not mind that at all but if they can put like one or two multi chromes that would be amazing to just to keep up with the indie brand trends but otherwise this palette was absolutely amazing like i i do not have any regret buying this palette i absolutely love it i do have an i am an affiliate from mba cosmetics and my code is smithy sony to save you 10% off i'll put all my codes of these brands that i have in the description box below for you guys so that it's easier for you to check it out Uh, if i do have any codes or not and if you're using my codes i thank you very much on number 32 we have gormon girls silent night palette and this was their christmas release or the holiday release from them this is like a neutral palette with pops of blues and yellows i really really love this palette i love the variety i love the colors that were chosen in the palette but i still feel that there could be a few changes in this palette as there are two navies there are a few browns that are very close to each other um i feel like these two shimmers they're different but they're not different enough to give variety of tones so for that reason i feel like there are a little bit more of a repetitive shades and that is why this is ranking on number 32 but the quality of gormon girls is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so would highly recommend this if you are loving the color story they are different check out my video and you will see me swatch those similar shades right next to each other and you will see how different enough and if you can justify that purchase you will absolutely love it on number 31 we have an all shimmer palette from sugar drizzle and this is the don't forget to smile palette really love this palette this is a beautiful companion palette to any palette that you have in the collection these are definitely a little bit more on the muted side these are very wintry tones for me at least i love the variety that is uh, given to us and sugar drizzle does some beautiful shimmers i have several eye looks using this palette and i 
absolutely love 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 the variety that uh, she is given in these palettes this is definitely for a muted wearer i definitely can use this to my office too it can give me variety but it will not look over the top uh, because of the tones of this palette i really 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 love it yeah would highly recommend this on number 30 we have another palette from sugar drizzle and this is the red panda palette who remembers this this came out like early in the year the shadows the shimmer especially in this palette are absolutely beautiful like i can wear this every day these shimmers and look absolutely elegant and glam because they're not like over the top or anything there's just like a few shimmers that are a little bit more on the colorful side but the other shimmers are pretty neutral and they look so wet on the eyes i love this shade let me let me let me show you this himalaya shade so stunning so stunning and so wet looking on the eyes uh, for the golden -y tone i really love the shade chai look at that so pretty so pretty uh, this definitely is a beautiful palette it only has two mattes to complement this i would have definitely definitely loved if there was like a deeper tone of matte like a black or a brown a deep brown in the palette then this would have been like a complete palette for me because the tone of the shimmers are really really good but again it is a little little repetitive i would say on number 29 we have the halloween release from gourmand girls and this was the haunted palette i love the tones of mattes that were chosen in this palette i absolutely love this side of the palette like these mattes are amazing absolutely amazing and i feel like this shimmer stunning like that is what this palette like knocks up on the notch just because of these shades like i love this shade these five mattes and that's my favorite thing about this palette i also love this side of the palette too again i'm not big on greens that's why i chose to put the greens a little away uh, but again i feel like this palette was very very good it could have been better based on the color story again because of these two yellows that are very similar to each other these two greens that are similar to each other uh, so i feel like there are a little bit of repetitiveness again in this palette but again the quality of gourmand girls is stunning if you do not have these tones of matte that alone makes this palette for me really really love it on number 28 we have another and i feel like this is the last palette from lady buglo and this is the floresta palette this is such a cute color story and such a unique color story from them love the mattes love the shimmers that were chosen in this palette i really 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 love it i feel like this was absolutely beautiful beautiful release from them really love the shimmers i really love the mattes again shimmers are definitely better than the mattes that were chosen in this palette and this kind of a color story i've never seen anyone do this before and i definitely want ladybug glow to focus more on the color stories that they are releasing in the future because shimmer shadows the quality a plus plus i feel like they have just nailed their shimmer formula so very much like look at these look at these shades how beautiful how beautiful and vibrant and spectacular that is like look at that oh my god this is stunning i need that all over my eyes all over my eyes so so pretty okay so yeah this is stunning absolutely stunning definitely focus a little bit more on the mats i'm not going to repeat it again but lady Glow, definitely they've done an amazing amazing job this year and being like a new indie brand that released this year and releasing so many eyeshadow palettes and nailing their shimmer formulas is absolutely beautiful again there should always be a little more of improvement and that is my way of telling them what to improve Okay, let's move on. On number 27, we have another eyeshadow palette from Gourmand Girls and this is their Nightshade palette. I absolutely, absolutely love this palette. Like I feel like I've gotten so many beautiful eye looks from this palette. I love the shimmers and I love the purple mattes that were included in this palette. Like love these tones. Again, not a big green person, but still those greens can be paired up with these deep purples and the orchid shades so beautifully love 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 this palette definitely my favorite release from gourmand girls this year 
really 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 stunning palette would highly recommend it i do have a code with gourmand girls it's smithy sony to save you 10 percent on number 26 from this palette onwards i feel like everything is absolutely amazing amazing i don't know where to rank all these palettes but from now onwards it's great and from like my top 10 it's just awesome greatness quality <laughs> now on number 26 we have wicked widow beauty scissor hands 2 palette this palette was just stunning this is where my love started for wicked widow beauty i felt like they beautifully created this palette i felt like from the releases that i have from wicked widow beauty this is my favorite out of the lot favorite my favorite like i love these stones love these stones i would have definitely loved if one of these green shimmers were a little more on the lighter side because i feel like we have a lot of green shimmers here we have like a blue and a deeper purple we don't have like much lighter shimmers in this palette but again i i don't miss them a lot but i would have loved it even more if i had those shades like i love this so very much really really love this my favorite shade of this palette is these two really beautiful this three shades together are stunning this maroon is breathtaking this multi-chrome shade stunning stunning absolutely stunning love the tones of this blue and sagey green shade beautiful well done wicked widow beauty this was absolutely amazing on number 25 we have the kaleidos club nebula palette which was in collaboration by angelica nequist i know this is discontinued there's no point talking about it but this is the year where i tried this palette one of my beautiful subscribers sent me this palette my way because you know how much i was drooling over this palette and this palette did not disappoint me i love the tones of this palette according to the indie shimmers right now i feel like the shimmers can be improved but the mattes are stunning stunning and even the shimmers i feel like it's more like an iridescent topper shade it's not like opaque the i think the only opaque topper shades are these two shades and that's wonderful but the other shades definitely do have like a place in uh, the makeup realm and i really really love this my favorite thing about this palette again is the uh, mattes in the palette because they have some beautiful unique tones and they're very similar to that gourmand girls uh, haunted palette mattes that i was talking about because it's such unique tone of mattes i really really love it and the quality is absolutely spectacular i really love this palette on number 24 we have another all shimmer palette from sugar drizzle and this is their trashed palette this is such a beautiful palette if you love purples and greens this palette would be right up your alley this is a little bit more on the colorful side as compared to the don't uh, don't forget to smile palette because this these shimmers are definitely much more punchier on the eyes uh, but again spectacular palette it's so so beautiful and dimensional on the eyes so i would highly highly recommend it if you have not tried sugar drizzle formula you should definitely do that because they have some amazing formula especially the shimmer fact actually their mattes are also amazing if you like a color story it's very very difficult not to like their eyeshadow palettes especially i feel like their price point is just right and also their quality is just beautiful on number 23 we have glaminatrix cosmetics sugar and spice palette this palette is stunning stunning absolutely stunning and you'll see the other palettes ranked much more higher than this and that's only because this middle row that they included are definitely more like gray leaning shades and these two shades do not do much on my eyes these definitely help to deepen out the eye look and the rest of the palette i love love these tones so very much i really really i don't have anything bad to say about this palette Seriously speaking, apart from these two shades, that is too light for me. I don't have anything bad to say about this palette because this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see what Glaminatrix Cosmetics has for us in future. You'll see one of the Glaminatrix palettes is in top five and that's saying a lot. A lot. Wait, stay tuned for that because this is this was stunning too. Absolutely stunning. I love the way the Glaminatrix uh, Cosmetics is leaning towards this kind of a packaging with like magnetic palette and smaller pan eyeshadow palette so that they can give us more shadows. I'm here for you guys. 
I have a code with Laminatrix Cosmetics too, and that is Smithy Sony to save you 10% off. Next, we have the newest release from Simply Posh Cosmetics, and this is the Aurora Lights palette, and this one will fall on number 22. It's such a beautiful, colorful palette. I have recently done like two looks using this palette on my channel. I love it. I love it. These tones, I mean, you know, these palettes are really, really pretty. Really pretty performance wise as well as color tone wise it's just a matter of how much am i using it how unique it is to my collection this these tones are really really beautiful so beautiful they they captured aurora lights in such a beautiful way and the shimmers are definitely amped up from the other uh, palettes that i have talked before but you'll find another palette from simply posh cosmetics ranked up high up there because i love that color story a little bit more than this but if you are a color lover this palette is amazing absolutely amazing stunning oh my god stunning i have an affiliate code with simply posh cosmetics too it's just smithy to save you 10 percent off on number 21 we have it's Bell cosmetics pixie grove palette such a stunning palette oh my god i cannot i cannot tell you more things like from now onwards the palettes are, are all just beautiful they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous this is such a beautiful fall palette like this would be one of my favorite fall palettes like this is so beautiful it's concise color story but you can get all the fall tones that you're looking for in one palette you have greens you have oranges you have burgundies you have olives and the quality of the shimmers are spectacular absolutely beautiful this is one among my favorite palettes from it's bell cosmetics i feel like this palette definitely knocked up their game in the shimmer as well as mattes really really love it beautiful beautiful palette definitely one among the i feel like this would be like a must have for you especially if you like fall tones and if you've never tried it's bell cosmetics try this you'll absolutely love it Oh my God, why is it on number 20? I love it so much. On number 20, I have Bella Beauty Bar Bejeweled Palette. This is, it's so pretty. If you like jewel tones, you need to have this in your collection. Like there's no, there's no doubt you do not have a choice. This is my favorite jewel tone palette that I have in my collection. I just don't tend to wear a lot of these tones in my everyday life. So I tend to use this like a companion palette uh, with other palettes, especially with like pastel tones. If I combine pastel tones with these deep dark jewel tones, it'll be amazing. The only reason why this is falling on number 20 is just because I, it doesn't have any lighter tones. So this cannot be like my complete palette, especially if I'm uh, going for like an everyday eye look. This is a beautiful jewel tone palette. If I'm looking for jewel tones, it's amazing. The mattes perform beautifully. The shimmers are dimensional, multichromy. They're just so stunning, so beautiful. I cannot recommend this enough. I recently did a video using the blues in the palette. I also did a video recently with the purples in the palette. I, of course, have a dedicated video using this palette on my channel. This is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I have several, several more palettes ranked from Bella Beauty Bar in this ranking way up. This just falls in this place just because I feel like this is not a complete palette. But otherwise, wait till you see the other rankings because... Some of them are right up there. On number 19, I have Don't Be Jelly palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. This palette, again, is so beautiful. I felt like they could not have done it better in a 12-pan eyeshadow palette. I felt like they gave us a variety. There are so many looks that you can do with these 12-pan eyeshadow palette. I love it. Absolutely love it. I have traveled with this. If you like these shades, you are absolutely going to love it. Plus, these pans are magnetic, so you can shift around shades if you have several unearthly palettes in your collection. This palette, as a standalone palette, is amazing. And that is why this is ranking on number 19. Plus, it has two multichromes, which are stunningly beautiful. Look at the, look at the shades. It's so pretty. So pretty. I can drool over this palette. This packaging, stunning. Oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. I cannot deal with myself. 
On number 18, we have another Glaminatrix palette and this is the Into the Night palette. Again, this is so beautiful. The, sh the mattes, the shimmers, everything is just stunning. I love that they added two neons in the palette so that it can amp up any eye look and these are bright neon shades. Glaminatrix mattes quality is stunning but their shimmer quality is excellent love love these tones it's such a beautiful summer to fall uh, transitioning palette i love this palette so very much really 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 beautiful i have nothing bad to say about these palettes because they're just stunning quality on number 17 we have another recent palette from adept cosmetics and this is the element 115 palette the only reason why this is on number 17 is just because the mattes in the palette is definitely much more like restricted and uh, the shimmers are just beautiful, like just beautiful. I can definitely, definitely work with these shades and create some beautiful, beautiful eye looks because I feel like these shadows were apps. I love Adept Cosmetics eyeshadows. First of all, the mattes, they really do good mattes. Their shimmers are outstandingly beautiful. Like they're so dimensional that you will be asked like what is on your eyes without a doubt because they just do it just perfectly. And these tones, especially if you are blue purple wearer, this palette is going to be right up your alley. Like I love the tones of purple. And these are some special shades, special shades in the palette. I have an affiliate code with Adept Cosmetics and it is Smithy Sony to save you 10% off. You can use anything on their website, but I feel like this palette definitely is very, very close to my heart because of the purple tones. I really, really love it. The next palette might come as a surprise to you guys because one, I use it a lot, but that's not my favorite palette from the brand. So on number 16, I have Natasha Denona's I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I know you guys, I know. Stop staring at me. Stop staring at me. <laughs> I love this palette. I really do. And I do use it quite a bit. I use this for the shimmers. I just feel like there are a, a lot of mattes that are very, very light on me. Especially, I feel like, you know, these tones are all super, super light on me. Like... Can I make it work? Yes. But do I need to make it work for a $69 palette? I don't think so. I feel like Stone, Mesh, Tender, Fair, all of those are very light on me. I don't like the Travertine shade. It doesn't do anything for me. Plus, it's hard panning on me. So I don't like that. But I love these shades. Ella, Muse, Filigree a lot. I love the addition of wig and wit in this palette. And the standout thing is the wet shades that she introduced, Delilah, Sheen, and Mia. When I am going for like an effortless everyday look, no doubt I'm going to wear this palette and people are going to compliment me. There's no doubt about it. But if I'm looking for uniqueness, this is not like a unique palette. So I would not put it right on the top, but there is a palette which is there on one among the top 10 palettes from Natasha Denona that I purchased this year. But I use that even more just because the variety of the mattes in that palette and the depth of the mattes in that palette is much, much more deep than this. So that is why I try to mix and match these shades with those palettes. So that's the only reason why this is falling on number 16. I'm sorry. On number 15, the first palette that I'm going to rank from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. And this is the Twisted Tea Party palette. Beautiful, beautiful, colorful palette. If you like colors, this palette has some beautiful shades. Like, oh my God. I often wear this palette. Like Ensley Rain palettes have just shot up the ladder for me this year. Like they have been absolutely amazing. I, I don't have anything to critique about this palette. I love everything. Everything about this palette. Again, would I have loved a little bit more on the lighter tone of mattes? Yes, to blend it out. Yes, for sure. But do I not like these tones? That's not true because I do love these tones. I really, really, really love this. Me not being a green wearer, I would have definitely loved if there were not like three uh, green shadows. But again, this has like a beautiful pink shift, which I really like. This too can be a little bit more on the rep. Actually, it's not repetitive. I take everything back. I don't know. Ensley Rain knows what they're doing and this is beautiful, okay? 
<laughs> but this is landing on number 15. On number 14, we have another palette from Bella Beauty Bar and this is the Sun and the Sea palette. This palette I really like. I really like the tones of this palette. I love a good brown shade and they have four in this palette. And trust me when I see it, I've said this before, I love these brown tones being there just because I know with which eye look I need to grab which brown shade because everything has a different undertone and I appreciate about this palette and it also has some punchier shades, some purples, some burgundy, some browns, some blues and the multi-chromes in this palette is what made me fall in love with Bella Beauty Bar formula. It also has some beautiful iridescent shadows, beautiful. Of course, I've done several eyes looks using this palette and I do have a code with Bella Beauty Bar at Smithy Sony to save you 10% off. I love this. Would I have loved different blues? Yes, I would have definitely loved if there was like a mid-tone blue and a deeper blue, like deeper than this and lighter than this. Uh, would I have loved different tones of browns? Yes, for sure. But again, still this palette is ranking up high there just because these shadows quality, the mattes, the shimmers, the multichromes, everything is just spectacular. I really love it. On number 13, we have the last Simply Posh Cosmetics palette and that is the Cozy Cabin palette. This palette is cozy, it's warm, it's, it's like a hug. It has beautiful warm tones and cool tones in the palette. The shades that were chosen in this palette were absolutely stunning. And I cannot recommend this enough. Like this palette definitely is my favorite palette from the brand. I really, really, really love this. I love how muted it is, but colorful it is. It's beautiful for everyday life, but also as a glam eye look. I really love love this palette and this is ranking on number 13 on number 12 we have huda beauty's pretty grunge palette again i love huda beauty palettes and i have tried quite a few huda palettes this year one more actually this year and that's an older palette but i tried this year so it's higher than this just because i feel like this has like a place and a time but this is not like an everyday color story for me. I love the special shades that she included. I love the addition of like those mauve tones, which I really love on me. I just feel like these tones are definitely a little bit more on the repetitive side for me. And it has too many, too many lighter tones for a tan skin tone. That's the only reason. But otherwise, I feel the quality everything is absolutely at par excellence again if you are lighter than me i feel like and if you love cool tones this palette is going to be high up there for your ranking for me this falls a little short but again love it absolutely love it that's why it's on number 12. on number 11 we have Uden's eyes jewels and gem palette such such a beautiful palette like this is amazing absolutely amazing quality eyeshadow palette i love the tones of the mattes as well as the shimmers i really love Uden's eye palettes that i have ever tried from them and i have quite a few in my collection and this is just beautiful i love the shimmers that were included this shimmer that shimmer the purple this green leaning shimmer so beautiful these tones of uh, mattes are just spectacular i wear this to office and i still feel that's not too colorful because of that muted color story i really really love this my favorite shade out of the bunch is this rhapsody shade this with that deeper sozzle shade stunning stunning is the word like i love love this palette so very much definitely definitely one of the top palettes moving into top 10 and these top 10 palettes can just based on the day this can be number one or number 10 i just did not know where to put this because there are so many beautiful palettes that i tried this year so from now onwards everything is awesome like absolutely awesome is just a matter of ranking and i kid you not i went back and forth of this ranking so very many times that i i was feeling anxious about it but let's continue because the show must go on on number 10 we have the harvest moon palette from ensley rain cosmetics if you love fall tones 
this is gonna be just beautiful for you this is where my love affair started from Ensley rain and i cannot cannot explain how how beautiful their shadows are you know when we um explore these indie eyeshadow brands and buy single shadows those single shadows that are worth 17 18 dollars Ensley rain puts those shadows and several of them in their palettes and these are some spectacular shades. I know that the price point is high, but also think in a way, if you buy like five, seven, five to seven eyeshadow, single shadows, you're easily crossing like that. You're touching that $100 price point and Ensley Rain palettes are generally around that, you know, $70 price point. They try to be in the 70s. I do have a code with Ensley Rain, which is Smithy Sony, and that knocks down the price quite a bit too. But these shadows are spectacular. I really, when I tried this palette, I felt like this is going to be my number one palette for this year. And when I even say that this is number 10 palette, doesn't make this bad by any means. This just fell on number 10 just because these tones are definitely more on the deeper side but when i think of different uh tones of skin tones um for a lighter skin tone person or a pale skin tone person i feel like these would fall a lot more deeper on them i can definitely make this work on my crease too by blending it out with like a loose fluffy brush in my crease i definitely can make it work and there is not one shadow that I do not like about this palette because, and they give us variety. No two shadows look similar on the eyes and that's what I love about it. I have like five looks using this palette on my channel before. Just stunning palette. I can rave on and on and on about these palettes because I love them so very much. On number nine, the latest palette that i tried from unearthly cosmetics the fall magic palette i knew instantly when i saw this color story that i'm gonna fall in love with them because this is a concise color story but again my kind of color story i really love these tones really really beautiful on the eyes the shimmers are shimmering the mattes are blending they just do what they're supposed to do and i love the color story of this again i love the aspect that this is magnetic and you can like shift and uh, move the shades here and there i really am eyeing the sorcerer smoke palette also i really 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 love this palette on number eight we have bella beauty bars recently de-influenced palette such a beautiful palette you guys such a beautiful palette again this is it's punchy it's jewel tone it's full of special shadows and i love 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 that aspect about it now bella beauty bar is another brand that had so many releases this year and i can hardly say that they fell short in any of the releases that they did because i feel like they do color stories like no other and they do some unique color stories and some unique shadows in their palette i again feel like their shimmer shadows feel like the single shadows that you would buy from cleona terra moons divina for that reason i feel like they just make the palettes worth it even even more i don't feel like i'm missing not buying single shadows from those brands just because i feel like i get those quality of eyeshadows in a palette format which i'm te which i tend to use much much more than any other thing so recently the influence palettes a beautiful like my favorite color story that they have done but i'm also eyeing their basic witch palette but again for now this is ranking on number eight on number seven we have huda beauty's rose quartz palette and this is what I tried apart from the Pretty Grunge palette. I have ranked this high up there just because I feel like this is like my kind of color story. Whenever, whenever I wear this palette, I feel I get so many compliments from different people. And I love these tones. I love the shimmers that were included in this palette. The shimmers that look bland also, they look so elegant on the eyes and they are so spectacular. I really, really, really love this palette. And there's no doubt that I would use this a 
ton a ton and i've already used it quite a bit i really love these tones of like that you know the grayish purpley tones or the grayish pinky tones i really love it and the shimmers in this palette are spectacular too i love huda beauty's mattes to another level so this definitely is high up there so this would be racking on number seven on number six we have natasha denona's retro palette again i know this is an older palette but this is the time that i tried retro and instantly fell in love fell in love with this palette again i love mauves and burgundy tones on me and this i have used this so much more than the i need a nude palette especially their mattes i love the tones of mattes that were included in this palette so for me if i mix these mattes with the i need a nude uh, shimmers i feel like i would get such a beautiful variety and my perfect kind of color story but i still feel like my favorite natasha nona palette is my dream palette from her because i feel like that was made for me all these are like a complimentary palette but i do like natasha nona formulas so i really really like her palettes and this year natasha nona retro palette will fall on number six okay top five are you excited about it i'm nervous <laughs> i'm nervous to share my ranking with you just because again these five beautiful like absolutely stunning palettes if you like any color story out of these just buy it and i know that you will love it on number five we have lands of enchantment palette from ensley rain cosmetics such a beautiful cool tone color story but not being grays or anything if you like colors and you are leaning towards cooler tones this is such a magical palette such a beautiful palette i have this deeper tone of blue on my outer corners and the inner corners and i have this shade light language on my inner corners and tapped on top of it i have this shade which is shattered stars right here and then for my um, lid shade I actually used the shade Moon Magic all across my eyelid and then I tapped another shade on top which I'll get to it when I get to that palette. But majority of my eye shadow look is from this palette. Such, such, such a beautiful color story and the mattes blend so very nicely. So very nicely. Again, Ensley Rain Cosmetics absolutely excelled this year. They are one of my top indie brands in my collection. And if you've seen the ranking of my top five indie brands for 2023, I'll link that video in the eye cards above for you guys. You'll see they are right up there on the top. Really, really beautiful. On number four, we have another palette from Huda Beauty. Actually, I tried three palettes from Huda Beauty. It falls for Huda Beauty's Naughty Palette. I tried this uh, during the black friday sale and there were so many people who were telling that i would love huda beauty naughty palette because i love browns and burgundies on me and this you were not wrong you were not wrong one bit i have used this so very much on in like my office life when i'm going to church when i'm going like to parties and when i these are like my tones like i love to wear these tones i feel so elegant and so put together when i wear these tones and they're amazing they're just amazing and the quality is right up there i really 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 love this palette i'm drooling i really 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 love this palette i cannot cannot wait to put this on my eyes like as soon as i see it i want to put it on my eyes that's how much i love it and i cannot I cannot thank you guys enough for telling me to try Huda Beauty Naughty Palette and I, I cannot thank you enough. I really, really love this one. On number three, on number three, <laughs> this brand completely knocked my socks off, completely knocked my socks off and this is What's Up Beauty. This is the Dragon Eye Palette. I wore this on my last video where I was talking about, actually, I will wear this in my next video where I'll be talking about best of 2023 makeup. I love whatever eye looks I create with this palette and I get so many compliments whenever I wear this. This is my kind of color story. I love a neutral matte in my crease and for the darker outer corners and then some special shimmery shadows on my lid. This is meant for me 
and I cannot wait to see what WhatsApp Beauty has for me in future. I recently did buy their Serengeti highlighters, which I was eyeing from them. After testing this out, it's very, very difficult for me not to try other products from them because I am in love with this palette. Love is an understatement. That's how much I like it. On number two, on number two, we have the last Glaminatrix palette in my collection that I love. This again, this is a palette that was meant for me. This is a Smithy palette. This is the Rich Romantic palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. It's such a beautiful palette, such a beautiful palette. I feel the mattes, the shimmers, everything is so elevated. The variety is absolutely breathtaking. I really, really love it. I have done several videos using this palette. I have a dedicated video. I have a palette bingo video. I have a get ready with me. This is just so beautiful. I cannot recommend this enough. If you like pinky tones or purpley tones, this palette is going to be right up your alley. This was stunning stunning i have a code with laminatrix cosmetics it's smithy sony to save you 10 percent off thank me later number one palette are you ready drum roll please number one palette for 2023 is gonna go for ensley rain cold moon palette this palette is spectacular if you like a cool tone eye look I feel like it's the winter season that's talking. If you like a cool tone eye look from the artwork to the shadows that are inside it, it can look gray tone. It is absolutely not. Like this has some sagey greens, some silvery blues, some pinky tones, some purpley tones. The variety of mattes is amazing. But the variety of the shimmers that were included in now in this was spectacular. Like every, every shimmer shade that is included in this is so dimensional, so spectacular. There's so many holochromes and multichromes in this palette. I feel like the only shades that are not shifting is these two shades forbidding and i don't know how to pronounce this but this is so shimmery and this is a perfect for inner corners for these cool tone eye looks cannot recommend this enough if you have not tried ensley rain cosmetics try any of their palette that calls out to you you will thank me later the number one brand for 2023 that i've tried is ensley rain cosmetics i Cannot recommend that enough. I can shout from the rooftop to say to try Ensley Rain Cosmetics because I know that you would love it. So those were my ranking 56 eyeshadow palettes for the year 2023. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, before you go, the eyeshadow that I have tapped on top is the shade Wolf Moon right here, right on top. But otherwise, you guys need to let me know which is your top three eyeshadow palette releases for 2023 in the comment section below. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.